Hey guys, welcome back to another modding tutorial video. In this video, I'll be covering some basics with the lights in game, as well as how to set up a functional light switch. As always, below timestamps are listed, and uh, I'll be using a script for the light switch that is an older one um, that I found used by DarkFox127 and more recently by Fill Out Is Life. I also found this script referenced in a Nexus Mods forum post by Creek Rage. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, first things first, to keep in line with good practice, let's go ahead and create a new layer. Let's call this sure you set it to active all right so we got our layer and we want to pick out a light fixture uh, there's a ton in game some of the well a lot of the lights are created in pieces so uh, my suggestion is that you go to the pack in section to find a light fixture that is fully assembled i already have um, some stuff placed in game so let's do flood lamp small. Let's check that out. Click over into our render window. Now let's make sure we freeze everything. But I remembered that because that would have really upset me. Okay, so we're in our render window. Let's hit T to zap us to a top view of the object that we have selected. Again, holding shift to do that. Oh yeah, that's right, it gets thrown underneath here. Okay, let's go here. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but that actually worked out for me because I was going to delete this light. So let's go ahead and delete that. Um, let's go here. F to drop it. Okay, so we have our light fixture pointed at our lovely statue model. And so now let's type in lights. Let's go to our light section. So at this point, so now we actually want to place a light. And again, I recommend making your own custom light. That way, if you make any sort of edits, you don't accidentally make an edit that affects that light that is um, in all of its numbers, number of uses throughout the game world. Um, so I actually already made some. I'll just go to one of the ones I made. So let's pretend that this is a vanilla light. Um, let's go ahead and just open it up and rename it. Let's make this, we're going to make it a purple light, purple. I think that's how you spell purple. Hit okay. Create new form. Yep. Sure do. So we got our new light. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into the game world. W to bring up the rotator gizmo. there okay i'm cool with that all right so now let's go ahead and edit this light so we have our purple one obviously right now it's not purple yet uh, so select color so here in this menu um, is how we, we can we can make all of our adjustments to our light there that looks good hit okay hit apply to see the change uh, take effect. And then just to go over some of the stuff. So luminous power. So right now it's set to 9,000. Let's set it to 19,000. Hit apply. Let's see how it magnifies there. Radius. Um, 
Oh, the FOV. So the FOV is the width, how much the light actually fans out, um, which you can make it a, a spotlight. And that, uh, to apply, dramatically narrows the light and changes the way uh, that it works. So it just creates like a straight uh, cylindrical light source. But I'm not a big fan of that, or at least I don't have a use for that right now. So I'm going to keep it that off. Um, right now the FOV is set to 90. Let's set it to set it to 60. Hit apply. So we got that. And then the fall off exponent. So the fall off exponent is going to adjust um, how harsh the light is. So right there, it's set to three. Let's set it to 0 0.5. Pay attention to the edges of the light source. Let's see how much uh, harsher that became. But I don't want that. Let's set it to, let's go to four. Okay, and then we can flicker effect. We can do a pulse, or we can do a flicker. Uh, depending on your settings, you can, um, let's say you want to uh, throw a fire in game, um, and you want to adjust the light that it's uh, emitting to look like an actual flicker. So you would um, select that and make adjustments from there. Um, you got you just kind of have to play with it. Uh, it could be a little tedious, but once you have a good understanding of how it works, then you're like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, let's leave it. Let's leave it there. And oh, lens flare. So the lens flare is when you're in game looking at the light, um, what sort of lens flare it produces. And you can uh, select any of these in here. So these are all the vanilla lens flares. Um, let's see. So yeah, I had the space one selected. Let's do, let's try that one. Spotlight lens flare. Now those are all vanilla lens flares. You can click on that or find the lens flares um, over here in the object uh, window, uh, but that's an easy way to get to it there. And you can make these adjustments here, but I don't want to get into that right now, but just understand that it is possible to uh, make a very uh, customized and unique lens flare. Even uh, You can even make your own lens textures, throw that in here, throw it into a lens flare, and then edit all of those variables to get a really uh, unique and different uh, look. So let's go and cancel that. Let's keep that on Spotlight Lens Flare. Uh, and the Gobo. The Gobo is, again, another texture that creates kind of like a baked-in uh, shadow or some sort of light diffusion. A uh, great example is the flashlight. It's not just, you know, a solid light source. You can see that texture effect that it is actually coming from a flashlight. So that's where you would add that in. Another big important one, the type. So I like the shadow lights. You don't see that a lot in the vanilla game. Uh, what you usually see is omnidirectional or non-shadow spotlight. So let's do that. So the non-shadow spotlight and the uh, shadow spotlight look the same, except, you know, minus the shadow. And then the omnidirectional is the one most commonly used uh, in the game, and it's basically just a spherical uh, light source, which, uh, again, is the one predominantly used in the game, and I think is also the one that looks the worst. But 
um, as many things, it has a time and place where uh, you do want that. All right, so we got that set up. Moving on. Okay, so we have our light placed in the game. Now let's uh, start setting up our light switch. For this first part, you can use an X marker or an enable marker. I mentioned this because uh, the sources that I found, they actually use an enable marker, but I, it's not bad. Um, it's just kind of big. So yeah, this is the enable marker. Which again, everything has a time and place. Um, for the purpose of a light switch, example, let's say you're making a player home and you want to have a bunch of light switches. I don't think you're going to want to have uh, this thing taking up all the space visually, even though you can hide it, blah, 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 whatever. If you don't want to you know, mess with all that, you can still just use an X marker. So yeah, for this tutorial, we'll go ahead and use the X marker. And I can confirm that the script works with either uh, without changing anything to the script. Okay, so we got the X marker. So now let's go ahead and parent our light to the X marker that we just placed. Let's open that up. Enable parent. Let's go over to it. Select reference and render window, double click. It is set, hit okay. If we did it correctly, you'll see a line going straight to the object and that's that for the x marker okay so now let's set up our light switch button and i'm going to show you how to do it so that you can make one and then use that one to drag and drop into the game so click over to activator i like to use activator Activator switch zero one. Let's open it up. Rename it. And here the name is what uh, appears in game. Again, if you're going to set this up to be used as a generic switch i don't recommend changing the name or at least i don't recommend giving it a specific name just give it something generic so let's just keep it at switch hit okay create new form yes sir let's open that back up and here is the big important part script add new script name Script. Uncheck uh, these boxes. Hit OK. Cancel. So that should pop up. Edit source. And I have the script we need. Paste it over here. Right, copy. And I'll include the script um, in the description to briefly, I'm not even gonna go over it, but yeah, you can look at it, dissect it later on, but yeah. Build, compile, you don't have to click on that first you can just save it and when you go to save it it will compile it um, if the if it does not successfully compile it won't save 
I think. So just good practice. Compile it first, confirm that it successfully compiles, and then save it. So when it ha once it has successfully saved, you can close it out. And hit OK. Now our activator box is ready to just drag and drop in game. So let's grab that, drag it in there. T to snap to it. F to drop it. Two to resize it. Let's, let's do that. I have to drop it again. E. Okay, so now we have it placed in game. Double click. Go over to scripts. There's our script. And double click. Let's find our reference. X marks the spot. Double click. Make reference in render window. Double click. Hit OK. See that changed there. And hit OK. And let's save it. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully it worked. We'll hop in game and confirm that it does. Okay, so here we have our switch. Let's go ahead and give it a test. Activate it. And there, we can confirm that it's working. These are the other lights that I set up initially. And here, um, can demonstrate that it also works for an object. Let's go check out the different uh, lights. Notice this one was the one that we set up for uh, flickering. And this one was for pulsing, but um, it's very subtle. But you can, of, of course, intensify that. And then um, just the different looks and effects that you can get uh, with lighting. Um, as you can see, is, is very, very powerful, um, which is why I wanted to make a video about it. Um, I feel like Bethesda games have always had um, very good lighting capabilities, but what they provide in the vanilla experience is it's nothing like this. Um, so, yeah. All right, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this video and uh, hope you learned something and, um, you know, hope you make something cool. All right. Take care.